And here it comes! Oh, it's man. Friday, and again, it's time for a huge stocking of catfish, oh, July 27th. And we're going to put in tank after tank of catfish for all of you to catch. Happy Friday, everybody! I've seen catfish before, but those are some nice catfish. Those are awesome looking they're, cats. They're going to join all the other fish swimming in the lake right now. Bluegill, bass, catfish, carp. Wow, that is a nice one. A little bit of everything for everyone to catch. All right. Whoa, that was about a five pounder. We got some nicer ones coming through now. Beautiful catfish today. They say the catfish with pink lips, they like to eat mackerel. Okay, here we go. Tank number two coming through the chute. Whoa, that was a quick one. Yeah, that one's gonna eat a meal one and a marshmallow really quick. Today we're also gonna stock the kids' lagoon. Once again, an entire tank of fish are going into the kids' lagoon. Those of you who say a catfish don't bite top water, you haven't seen fish jump like these ones. Look at them, they hit that water, they're flying out of the water. Woo! Woohoo! Nice fish, nice fish. Oh, there it goes. That's a really nice one. Travis O'Leary suggests using mealworm and a marshmallow on days we stock. Fish really bite really well, yeah, right when they hit that water. Remember to pick up some mackerel. We have the bite on Cajun mackerel. We have shrimp. We have mealworms. We have marshmallows. We have night Whoa, crawlers. Another pink lip catfish. That one right there is hunting for some mackerel. Everything available at the tackle shop for you to make your trip memorable. Tank number three coming into the lake down the chute. Oh, that was, that was the first one in the water. Awesome. I think I'm going to the horse track tonight. Woo -hoo. Remember, folks, we also have motorboats, pontoons, motorboats with feminies. We have rental rods available. Everything available at the tackle shop for you to rent. Oh, I think I'm going to clog in the pipe. Well, so maybe not. I'm clogging the pipe. I've never heard That's that. Woo! <laughs> 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 Oh man, look, that was the pipe clogger. We have pontoon Whoa, boats for $150. We have motor boats for $55. We have motor boats with feminies for $75. We have rental rods for $10. And we also rent out boat slips for you to keep your boats overnight oh, for $10 a night. Ooh, that was a golden one. That was a nice one. That one's gonna make Besides a fishing lake, Irvine Lake is an incredible venue to do concerts, family reunions, picnics, yeah. corporate events, and birthday parties. Make sure to contact the special events department for further information. Watch your toes, Johnny. That one's coming out hot. Okay, we're stocking the Kids oh, Lagoon Day. An entire tank of catfish is going in, approximately 500 pounds of catfish, and the best baits to use today are... Well, not just today, folks. We have mackerel, shrimp, we have chicken liver, mealworm, marshmallow, you name it, these fish will bite it. Trust me, they come out of the tanks snapping at the lines. Come on down, you might catch a big old catfish or a 30 pound carp like they did two weeks ago. Besides catfish and carp, there was a kid today that caught a huge six pound bass. So there's lots of things to catch in the lagoon, including bluegill as well. So come and join us, come to the kids lagoon. It's meant for children under 12 years of age and their parents to learn how to fish. Remember, we are the lake that wants you to catch fish. Hey guys, I'm back by demand to give you the fish report here. Fishing's been very good as of late. The catfish bite in the flats and also here in Boat Dog Cove has been very good. Guys fishing fly line mackerel and shrimp have been scoring easy limits. We also have the bite on mackerel dipped in bite on Cajun and also the new bite on shrimp. Those have been some key baits out here. Once again, guys, fly lining your baits for the catfish is really, really essence to catching these fish. If you have weight on the line, they'll feel it and they'll actually spit your bait out. So remember to fly line those baits. After stocking, you can actually fish a marshmallow mealworm right around the lawn tramp area, which we're at right now. That also seems to be key on the stalkers. Bluegill, they've shown up back in full force. I fished on Monday afternoon. We had fish bigger than your hand, up to a pound and a half. Just a bobber and mealworm. And they're a lot of fun for the kids. These fish pull really hard. They're a great fish. Bass fishing has been phenomenal the last few weeks, as evident by the 1114 caught by Joe Ninehouse on a 13 inch plastic worm at Shroud Island. We also had a six pound fish weighed in that didn't make the fish report last week, but you'll see it this week. Miles Howe caught that fish fishing a 12 inch worm as well. Bass guys, top water, the frog on these mats that you see behind me, the aquatic vegetation has been really good. 
and then towards the evening fishing that big 12 inch worm on a Texas rig, or even just a loud surface bait's been really well. We hope to see you come out here and catch some big fish.